Joe, what's your big takeaway? Big takeaway is that we we got our we got our butts handed to us in, in all three phases of the game, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, we got out blocked, uh, we got out hit, we got out executed, and you know it's completely unacceptable. And we've gotten beat by worse uh, by Power Five teams, but uh, this is the first time that I've walked off the field uh, not proud of the product that we put on there because uh, the effort wasn't good enough, the physicality wasn't good enough, and obviously uh, the execution wasn't good enough. Is it? I mean, I know the entire thing bothers you, but. Is it more disappointing because this is the team you guys beat last year? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that any of that stuff carries over. You know, there's an old saying, you know, last week doesn't matter this week, last year doesn't matter this year. So, you know, two different teams. I mean, obviously we, we beat them last year, but, you know, I don't, I don't think there's much. No, it doesn't upset me in the sense that, you know, carry over from one year to another. Can you explain, um, obviously, unfortunate with DJ out for the season, yeah. but can you explain your quarterback decision today? To play Taj? Yeah. Um, you know, Jeff, um, you know, played in the win against Northern Illinois last year and did some nice things and obviously the game against Buffalo, but, you know, has had some opportunities this year and, uh, you know, really hasn't kind of stepped up to, to, to seize that uh, opportunity that was presented this week. And then, quite frankly, with um, what we're trying to do uh, in the run game and trying to help out our offensive line that certainly uh, needs a lot of help. You know, Ch Todd pr Taj provides a different element in the run game that, uh, that, J that, that Jeff doesn't. So, you know, part of the idea was, you know, you know we got to do some things to help out the offensive line and have Todd get some run yards, which he did today. So that, uh, you know, that factored in the decision. What did you think of Todd overall? Uh, 19 to 34, I mean, didn't have a bunch of yards uh, per completion. Uh, thought he uh, ran the ball well. I uh, thought he probably held on to it a little bit too long. Uh, a couple bad throws, a couple reads that he missed, uh, some overthrows to Bobby Golden uh, early in the uh, third quarter and then DG late in the fourth. But uh, he remembers a guy making his first college start who really hasn't played a significant role in in, uh, in any game out of here or at Virginia Tech. So you know, you have to look at the film to kind of get a, a little bit better uh, valuation. But I thought. You know, looked like a, a guy make, making his first start. Did some good things, did some poor things, but certainly a lot to build off of. Why Why did you stick with him throughout the game, though, given what happened in the second quarter and what the score was at? Yeah, I mean, I just think to give the guy experience. I, I'm moving forward, I do believe he gives us the best opportunity to win. So you, you want to give the guy as many reps as you can, regardless of the, the score, just to see how he reacts and, you know, get him, uh, you know, some chemistry with the receivers and see how he reacts in certain situations. So, you know, more than anything is, you know, we think he gives us the best opportunity moving forward. So this isn't like, hey, each week it's a competition. No, they're, they're, they're one of the tests. I mean, the Todd is going to be our guy moving forward. Okay. Yeah. And um, I know this is, you know, kind of off the topic a little bit, but DJ was here on the sideline yep. out on pregame for coin toss. What does it say about him, what he's going through to be here for your program? You know, as a guy who played the position and played in college and was elected captain, much like DJ, it's, uh, you know, you can only get one shot at your senior year in college, and it's tough. And, um, you know, he, he's he's responded very well in terms of the C that's on his chest and his leadership and, you know, rallying the guys and staying positive because, you know, certainly it's easy to go in the tank and wallow in self-pity and kind of just worry about yourself. But I, I think it speaks volumes for the fact that guys elected him a captain and, and he's trying to his best to fulfill that role regardless of whether he's playing or not. So they scored to open the game. You guys come right back and score. Yeah. I mean, so how do you explain the offense coming out like this? Is it just because that's scripted or what? And then and not being able to kind of maintain that? Well, I mean, the, the next couple of drives, we, I mean, we got down to the 20. And uh, you know, ran a ran a pin and pull play on on second and one that got us even down closer. So back to back penalties, and then after the rough and the kicker uh, or punter or rough and the passer, I mean, we, we were we were down we were down there again. So I, I think I think we moved the ball fairly well in the in the first half. And then you know, once the game gets away from you like that, you kind of you're thrown off uh, you know off the game plan. You're just trying to you know, find a way to move the ball and possess it and keep their offense off the field too. That field goal was way short. Did you think oh. they got a piece of it? Or was no, it, it, it was into a stiff wind, but uh, no, they, they didn't get a piece of that thing. And after that, everything changed. There was four, four consecutive three and outs. Yeah. What 
what, was it just a deflating moment? I mean, what, how can you explain how that? After that kick? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we weren't, we weren't stopping them. And then uh, I think it kind of all, we talk a bunch about response to prosperity and response to adversity, and we didn't, you know. There, there wasn't a, a, uh, a position group or a unit that, uh, you know, kind of stuck its foot in the ground and made it a play when a play needed to be made to stop the, to stop the avalanche, and that thing got rolling downhill pretty quick. How can you guys, you know, address the run defense and get some solutions? Because they obviously ripped off a bunch of good drives. Yeah, I mean, of the things that surprised me this game, that was that was the biggest surprise. I mean, we were, you know, saw a stat today, our, our, our success rate on first down as a defense, and, you know, we weren't giving up very many yards uh, per game or per rush. And, uh, you know, obviously worked all the different personnel groupings or gap schemes. We, I mean, we repped a ton of Wildcat this week, obviously not enough, but uh, we got to see how many of it was gap fits and then how many of it was just, you know, we're getting knocked off the ball and we're missing tackles on the back end. I know it kind of, you know, heading into this game, and I know he made some plays today too, but not only had been playing really well for you. Yeah. What has he brought to the, the defense, you know, kind of, I know today it wasn't that the result anywhere you would Yeah. Play. I mean, for a first-year guy coming from a junior college, he, he's brought a uh, kind of uh, – a veteran presence. I know that sounds weird for a guy that's making his first, but but the, he's been around the game of football. He's been at some places, and you could tell that he carries himself with a lot of maturity and uh, does a great job expressing himself to his teammates and staying positive. And like I said, doesn't play, isn't a first year college player and doesn't play like a first year college player. So does he have a maturity and a leadership about him that's kind of surprising given what you said? I, I'd say surprising just because we didn't know a ton about him. You know, we recruited him out of junior college and got him here for uh, summer and then fall camp. But you know, until the guy gets in the game, you really. You know, can't tell how he's going to react, and he, he's been a guy that's that's been incredibly positive for us. And um, I know you're going to see the film, and you're going to dissect it all. But it seemed like a lot of those big runs they were gashing on were away from him. Yeah. Did it feel that way? I I can't say I can't say that for certain. I know a lot of them were to the boundary. So uh, whether we were, you know, aligned to the you know right hash or left hash, but a lot of them were occurring to the short side of the field. Uh, so. Uh, Coach, that first possession, uh, that run game, pretty dynamic, I would say, yeah. on the first possession for you guys. I think, what, maybe only two throws on that first possession? Yeah. Was that a theme that you guys wanted to do to be really run heavy and then kind of use the pass to complement it? And I, I know, again, you had to go away from it later on, but was that the game plan there early on? Yeah, I, I think you don't want to thrust a first-time starting quarterback into a situation where, you know, he's, he's chucking it all around the field, uh, kind of wanted to play to his strengths, and, um, you know, also, you know, quite frankly, I mean, we don't pass protect very well. So didn't want him dropping back a ton of times uh, against number one, who I think, you know, in number four. The, 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 I mean, I think they have two of the best pass rushers in the league, and we didn't want to get in a situation where number one, he's making his first start, and two, we're asking him to drop back a ton, you know, against what you saw was a pretty pretty ferocious pass rush. Um, on defense, you guys, guys gave up uh, 342 rushing yards. 280 of them were from one person. Yeah, 13 for 281. Um, what were they doing that made it where you guys weren't even able to touch them until he's about eight yards down the field? I'll have to see the film. I mean, from the, from the sideline, it looked like they were running a bunch of counter, a bunch of gap schemes, and, uh, you know, washing us down, getting the two pullers around, uh, and then putting the ball on, on a safety or on a, on a corner, and you know we weren't getting it on the ground. Now, was that something they were showing on film? Yeah, we had rep, we had, we repped all these plays, yeah, which probably should have repped them a little bit more. In um, you know the past few weeks, it seems like you guys are uh, using a lot of different running backs in the run game. Yep. Do you guys plan on establishing almost like a horseback there that you want to rely on, or are you are you satisfied with you all, you know using your quarterback to run and? And Lingard and Anderson and whoever else. I, I've been with Coach Richardson a long time, and I think when we were at UConn in 08 or 09. We had two different backs over a thousand yards: Jordan Tobin and Andre Dixon. So Terry does a really good job, you know, getting both guys ready, putting them in position, kind of based on play call. So to answer your question, I, it, it, you, we're going to continue to see both of those guys playing playing a bunch. You know, who, whoever gets a hot hand or whoever has a better practice week, or. Uh, you know, kind of the defense that we're playing against, you see, may, see, may see a little bit more, but uh, we'll, we'll continue to see both backs throughout the rest of the season. 
And for the kicking situation, you know, Owen Wiley, this is his second start, I believe, this season. Yep. I, is it an every week thing where we're going to see a new kicker, or is it a week on week basis? I sure as hell hope not. I mean, I mean, we, that, that, we kicked it into a stiff win there, but I mean, we got to be. Able, I mean, that wasn't. I mean, he had earned a right to kick this week based on his performance last week and how he did in practice. We only missed one kick in practice, so. Uh, obviously missed out one today and was short by a bunch. So we'll uh, meet with Coach Tucker tomorrow and kind of address the situation. But you know, we got to find somebody that's going to be the starter, and you know we got to worry about changing that thing around every every week because it's it's not ideal and not, certainly not you know our intent to play musical kickers. Now going into the, the next few weeks, is this kind of a burn the film kind of game after uh, Monday, or is it something that? You're going to make sure your players kind of remember, hey, remember this game, but move forward. Yeah, we addressed that <laughs> pretty specifically in the locker room uh, after the game. But uh, yeah, the old saying, can't let the same game beat you twice. And, you know, you come in, you grade the film as a staff, you uh, review the performance indicators with the players, talk about what you did well, talk about what you didn't do well. Uh, have position meetings, you know, have walkthrough corrections, and then, then you move on from there. So uh, tomorrow by 5 o'clock, we will have watched the film. Uh, we will have done corrections for the walkthrough, and you know, then we're moving on to Central Michigan. Are you good, gentlemen? Yeah. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great day.